Hello students. So in the last video we have seen the concept of polar form and how to find the argument of any given complex number. And now in this video we are going to see a numerical based on that concept where we'll apply those formula over here to get the solution. <music> So now here we have to express 1 plus 2i upon 1 minus 3i in the form of r into cos theta plus i sin theta and guys this r into cos theta plus i sin theta is a polar form of a complex number. Now whenever we want to convert any complex number from Cartesian form to the polar form we need to first bring that complex number in the standard form. So here this number is in the Cartesian form but that is not in the standard form. So first of all I will convert that into standard form. Now what is standard form? So whenever we have a single real part and the single imaginary part which is in the form of x plus i y we call it as standard form of a complex number. So here I need to bring it in a single real part and the single imaginary part. So let's assume that given number as z. Now guys to convert that number in the standard form we need to observe the denominator and in the denominator we have a complex number. So whenever we want to eliminate that complex number from the denominator we have to take the conjugate of a complex number. So conjugate is 1 plus 3i and now I will multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate so that we can eliminate the complex number from the denominator and we can get the standard form of a complex number. So so now in the denominator we can find the identity of algebra which is a minus b into a plus b which is a square minus b square. So guys yes this will give us 1 square minus 9i square. Now in the numerator we have to multiply these two brackets. So if I multiply this second bracket with 1 we will get 1 plus 3i and if I multiply this second bracket with 2i we will get 2i plus 6i square. Now let's simplify this. So i square is minus 1 so this will become negative 6 plus 1 that is negative 5 and 3i plus 2i is 5i. Similarly in the denominator this i square is minus 1 and minus 1 into minus 9 is plus 9 and plus 9 plus 1 is 10. So here we will get 10 and now we can divide the numerator separately with 10. So we will get minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2i and guys you can see that here we got the standard form of a complex number where real part is negative half and the imaginary part is positive half and now we can convert that number in the polar form. So to convert that number in the polar form we will first find out the modulus. So modulus is denoted by r or mod z which is square root of the square of real part and the imaginary part. So square of minus half is 1 upon 4 plus square of half is 1 by 4 and that will give us 1 upon 2. So square root of 1 upon 2 is 1 upon root of 2. So guys after finding the modulus we will find out the argument. So for argument theta is tan inverse of imaginary part upon real part which is y by x. So here this value is y. So here I will treat this as x plus i y. So this value is x and this value is y. So tan inverse of y upon x will give us the argument. And we know that the argument is denoted by theta. So here I can say that theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 upon 2 divided by 
minus half. So this will give us tan inverse of negative one. Now guys, to find out the argument, do not forget the rules which I have taught you in the previous video. So according to the rule, we have to first check whether this complex number lies in first quadrant, second, third or fourth or on the axis. So if you see here, the complex number is minus half plus one upon two i. So this number lies in second quadrant because in the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. So since the number is in second quadrant, we know how to find out the value of argument. So here I can say that the argument is equal to pi plus theta. So now here I'll write down that theta as minus pi by 4. So this will give us 3 pi by 4. So guys, this is the value of argument. Now let's come back to the question. We want this given complex number in the form of r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So we got the value of r as 1 upon root 2 and the theta as 3 pi by 4. So we'll rewrite the value. So therefore, z equal to 1 by root 2 which is value of r and cos of 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4 is the value of theta. So I'm sure you understood this basic problem and guys remember such type of problems can come in the examination and the number will be changed and number this complex number can be in any quadrant. So you just have to apply the concept which I've covered in the previous video and solve the formula. So thank you for watching videos and keep watching the videos if you want to learn more problems on engineering mathematics. Thank you very much.